everybody. Welcome to this get ready with me question and answer Q&A. Ooh, hello. So for today's look, I'm just going to be doing something very simple. I dug in my makeup drawer and I'm going back to some old favorites. This BB cream by Maybelline and this BB cream by L'Oreal, which is green because it's supposed to help correct redness. And I'm going to be using a brush to put this on. So let's just get into some of these questions. Moisturizer, of course. What is your full name? My full name is Taylor Marie Krauss. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Hmm. When I was little, well, I wanted to name my kid Savannah, but I also, like, really loved the name Savannah. So, probably Savannah. I love the name Savannah. Um, but also, I kind of am planning on naming my kid Savannah now. And her middle name, I want to have her middle name be Ellen because that's my mom's first name. And I think it's really special. Whoa! Dropping things left and right here, people. Where were you born? I was born in Lake Forest, Illinois, and if you guys don't know where that is, which most of you probably don't, uh, it's kind of around similar the area where David Dobrik lived. Dobrik? Do, do, I don't know how to say his last name. I don't watch his videos, but I mean, I know a lot of people do, so maybe that gives you some insight. Who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, yeah. Great question. My first celebrity crush was Jesse McCartney, 100%. I used to like literally, I would have dreams about Jesse McCartney. Like I would be walking on the on the sidewalk and he would just like fall from the sky and I'd be like, Jesse, you came for me. And I had his CDs. I would play, I would play those CDs like every day in my room. It was. He was definitely my first celebrity crush. And um, if you want to know who my celebrity crush is now, I will tell you, okay? So since I work at the library, I have to shelve all the magazines, right? And there's this guy in this magazine that I'm like, who is this guy? He's really attractive. And apparently he's a professional golf player? Golf? Golfer? He's a professional golfer. And his name is Brooks Kopka. Um, you guys should really look him up. He is really cute. What is your idea of a special time together? Um, I think this can be friends or with a significant other, but since I have no significant other, I'm just gonna say with friends, I really enjoy getting coffee. I like just sitting down and chatting. Um, I'm not really super extreme about anything, so kind of just relaxing. Um, also, I don't feel like I need to hang out with people to feel close to them. So if I don't see you for a couple months, like, I don't think our friendship went away. I just think that time apart is okay. It doesn't really need to be said. It feels really, really good, but I'm going to set it anyway. I'm going to be using this CoverGirl powder. Probably not going to repurchase it. Which of your parents are you more like? This is an interesting question because... I would definitely say I'm more like my dad. Like my mom is very much a doer and she just has tasks and she gets things done. But like my dad and I, when the work day's over, um, we like to relax together and just be in the same room, have a fire, play, play music or like watch a show together. Also me and my dad share the same love of food. We have a very big sweet tooth. We're like that together. We both love music. We enjoy nature, the simple things, so yeah, my dad. What is your biggest fear? Hmm. Well, for those of you that do the Enneagram test, I'll just tell you my Enneagram number. I am an Enneagram number nine with a wing one. Um, and it says that my biggest fear is loss, like losing someone, but I don't feel that way. I guess one of my biggest fears, um, if we're keeping it 100, who said that? I can't remember. Is losing, losing God, which isn't possible, but losing that, 
losing that strong grip of faith like that that is why every single day I make sure that I spend time with the word God isn't gonna leave me if I don't read my Bible but I don't want to lose that closeness that strong spirit with him so my biggest fear would probably be that and you know what I am working through that with God right now because my I'm not always gonna have a strong spirit nobody's always gonna have a strong presence of the Lord and that's why you have to walk by faith what is your eye color green and now I'm gonna be going into this elf palette and just do a little bit of bronzing what is something you look for in a partner Gosh, these questions. Something that I look for um, would be strong faith, somebody who can bring me out of my shell, but also somebody who is okay with not doing anything and just being around me. Um, I really like them. My love language is touch, so really just like somebody who wants to like snuggle. And also like if we're going like, ooh, what are some things that you're attracted to physically? Tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah. Brown hair. Brown eyes. Really into the brown eyes. But really, it's the, it's the faith aspect that that will do it for me. Honestly, I'm when I look for somebody, I'm not I'm not looking at the looks because I know that beauty is fleeting. So I really look for the heart and if they treat me with respect. Now I'm going on to mascara, and I like to use L'Oreal the Luminous Mascara. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. I love chocolate. Brownie in there. Guys, ice cream is my favorite dessert. Yeah. Okay, so I just took my hair down to finish my mascara, and I'm just going to finish off with some blush and highlight. What is your favorite type of clothing? Ooh, love this. You know, something I found, I love shoes. I mean, not love, okay. Love is a strong word, but I really like shoes. I love high heels. I like, um, like platforms, love platforms, sandals, boots, all of it. I think it really, like, can step your look up, you know? But if not shoes, it would probably be sweatpants. Yeah. And then the last question is, what aspect of your life could use improvement? There are a lot of areas of my life that I know I need improvement, maybe not tremendous improvement. One area being um, getting exercise. I could use getting exercise, like seriously. My camera just died, but that's okay, because I'm on the, I'm about to finish this video. Um, so yeah. Exercise could use improvement. Let's be honest. That's a lot of us, right, ladies? So, anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. I kind of just like to chit chat with you all and answer some questions so you guys can get to know me better. Um, leave a comment down below on what your guys' Enneagram number is. I would love to read about that and get to know more of you guys like that. So, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this look. It's really easy. See you in our next video. Bye.